We are here to honor firefighter Mark Graziano. We are here tonight to honor Mark as a son and as a brother. We are here to honor Mark as a husband. We are here to honor Mark as a father and a grandfather. We are here to honor Mark as a brave man who spent the greater part of his life in selfless service to the city of Hudson. I am honored to be here tonight with Mark's family and express the gratitude of the city of Hudson for the sacrifices that have been made on the behalf of us all. Thank you very much. I see before me many men and women who have also chosen this road of bravery, service, giving, protecting, and serving the community. I am humbled in your presence. Mark knew from a very young age that he wanted to serve his community and is part of the incredible and proud Hudson Volunteer Fire Department. He joined at the age of 14 as a junior member as part of the Department's Explorer Program, and at 18, he became a firefighter. An amazing and very telling vision of a young age, at such a young age, as to what he wanted his life to be. And that was a life of service. Mark was also an excellent steward of Hudson in his service, servicing his neighbors, his community, and the surrounding areas with courage, fortitude, and strength. He can never be repaid for the services it sacrifices to all of us, and we are forever grateful. A man of service. From all accounts, Mark was always ready for what came his way in his duties. A person far more eloquently than I could ever be once said, it is hard to think of a more selfless profession than firefighting. There is a reason why firefighting occupies a special place in our imaginations. Why little boys, and increasingly little girls, say, I want to be a fireman. I want to be a firefighter. They understand instinctually that there's something special about it. Just imagine what it takes to put on that heavy coat and helmet and override the natural human instinct for self-preservation and run into danger while others are running away from. To literally walk through a fire or dive into water knowing that you may not make it, but you're trying to save people and often those people are strangers. A life of service. We all remark this evening for his dedication to the safety and lives of all Hudson citizens. We are a grieving community, but we are a very grateful community. We thank him, we thank his family, and we thank God for allowing us to know him. Thank you, Mrs. Firefighters, for your incredible service, and thank you, Mark, for your life of selfless service. His memory will remain with us 
and his dedication to the fire service will serve as an incentive to all of us. We salute Mike with respect and gratitude. May we do more, find comfort in our grief. Allow us your blessings of strength to be visited upon each of us and send us forth to do your will to the people and communities we serve. And we ask as always that your name, amen. The Firefighters 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my chief. He has chosen me to serve. He leads me to still the fires raging around me. He restores my soul to fight even when all seems lost. He has prepared for me a place in life devoted to service, honor, and joy, fellowship. He anoints my soul with courage in the presence of my enemy, the fire. Yes, even though I have chosen to walk through life in the shadow of death, I will fear no fire, for he is with me. And when life's final alarm is sounded, I will dwell in the station house of the Lord forever. It's to be a resolution of condolence. J.W. Red Post Type B Number A and Comical, Chemical Company, pardon me, Hudson, New York. Resolution of condolence in memory of Brother Firefighter Mark A. Graziano, whereas it is pleased Almighty God and his infinite wisdom to call from our midst our beloved brother who departed from his life on the 9th of May, 2018. And whereas by his death the fire department has sustained the loss of an exemplary member, Therefore, be it resolved that while we bow in submission to the will of God, we mourn the loss of our brother who has been taken from us. And be it further resolved that this testimonial of condolence be offered to the family of our departed brother as an expression of our heartfelt sympathy. Our ranks have been diminished by the death of our brother Mark. He has been a part of our lives for so long we cannot imagine his cheerful personality will no longer be with us. He was honest, decent, and gave so much to the fire service. We salute his generous and his holy spirit. Eternal God, when the firefighter dies, a little of each of us dies with them. Mark has been with us for such a short time, and we are finding it difficult to say goodbye. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Mark, and the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. In the sight of this world, Mark is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Mark in this life. Forgive whatever sins he may have committed to human weakness, and in your goodness, we have been everlasting peace. And we ask this always in your name. Amen. Mark. We honor you with the life well lived. <coughs> Mark, we honor you for a grace well run. Mark, we honor you with a crown well deserved. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. In those days, Hezekiah became ill. Prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord told me. Put your house in order, because you are going to die. You will not recover. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall, and he prayed to the Lord, angrily, saying, Remember, Lord, how I walked before you faithfully, wholeheartedly, did as you asked. And then Hezekiah went. Then the word of the law came to Isaiah. He said, Go and tell Hezekiah, This is what the Lord your God has said. I've heard your prayers. I've seen your tears. And I will deliver you and this city from the hands of evil. The word of 
the Lord. And thanks be to God. Every time we do another funeral, it seems like a piece of all of us dies. But our brother Mark was, in many ways, the best of us. No matter how sick he felt, he would never say no. If you needed help, he was there. You only needed to ask. And even then, you only had to look. Some, of, some people will admit that one of the only reasons they joined the fire service was because they saw the enthusiasm that Mark had. He never stopped. He never questioned. He just did what needed to be done. I got exhausted just watching the man. My brothers and sisters, do not let this set us back. Look at this room. Look at the people in colors. They are here to honor our brother, as well we should. He's an example of the firefighter who doesn't stop. He gave and he gave and he gave, and think about it. He may have known that his time was limited. He did what he wanted to do, and God bless him for it. May we go forth. May we use his example. May we not be afraid when that whistle blows. Because my brothers and sisters, we're all called to do something better than just live our lives. We're here to be servants. Mark was a servant. May we go forth and follow his example. Amen.
Tschüss.